Hello and welcome to Chandu.org. In this video, I'm going to explain how to conditionally format visuals in Power BI. This is a feature that has been available for a while now, but uh, every time I am doing something and demonstrating it in a in a meetup or in a conference, uh, I'm always confused where it is. So I thought I'll make a quick tutorial so that I can remember it better and you will also know where this is. It's one of the trickier ones that's a little weird to find, especially if you are still getting started with Power BI and finding your way around or have been using it for a while but haven't caught up with the rollout of new features. So this is what a conditional formatting would look like. You have some values and let's say you wanted to highlight everything that is above a certain threshold in a different color or below a certain threshold in a different color or something like that. That's what a conditional formatting normally is. So I'll go and demo this whole thing in a page. Uh, let's say we make a column chart. I'm looking at, uh, for example, something like uh, quantity per uh, per store per transaction by individual stores let's uh, go and put city there on the axis so we get some numbers like this as you could see uh, the numbers are fairly close but some numbers are 8.44 and some of them have 7.98 so that means uh, um, in gold coast uh, for example uh, the average quantity per transaction is 7.98 whereas in townsville it's 8.44 now let us say I want to highlight everything that is uh, above a threshold like for example 8.2 is our our uh, store target so if any store that is doing less than 8.2 I wanted to be able to highlight in my dashboard in, in this trend um, what you could do is you can select the chart by default everything will be in one color as you could see here you can go to format from data colors you see the color when you place your mouse pointer on the color, there's a little bit of three dots that appear there. So that's the dot G bit because there is nowhere an indication that you could apply conditional formatting on that color. But if you click on that little button, it says FX conditional formatting. So once you go there, it's kind of self-explanatory for some of the simple ones. Like if you want a diverging color scale or, or a two color scale, you can set it up. Uh, the lower values will be red and higher values will be green. Or you could also add a diverging point which will have a midpoint like this. I'll quick, uh, I'll apply this so you could see how this would look. This would create some sort of a rainbow effect like this. I am not a huge fan of these kind of charts because they tend to introduce more noise rather than explaining things. Uh, but um, I, I think a two or three color thing is more suitable for business reporting than a continuous scale like this which is uh, pretty hard to understand um, with, with so many different types of data. So you can also use rather than color scale you can use a rule based calculation. So you could say format by rules and then quantity per transaction is my base field. You can also base it on any other field but we could say um, because you know if you are displaying a certain measure on the chart then it's a good idea to use that measure to define the formatting rather than something that is not part of the visual then it can be very confusing and you have to simply type in the rules here uh, the the tricky bit is it, it can only be a greater than condition or is condition so you don't have less than option but uh, so we go from zero for let's say 8.2 is our threshold so we can say if the value is greater than or equal to zero as a number and it's less than 8.2 then I want red color else if it is greater than or equal to 8.2 uh, but you must specify the less than bit as well you can't leave this uh, so we would go with some sort of arbitrary value like 999 uh, and then uh, we can simply set that to a different color and then that would create this kind of a setup for us as of this data uh, only uh, what happened here I think uh, we had something wrong with the rule um, yep it's 8.2 as a number not percentage uh, when you set it as percentage then we'll create something else altogether then uh, we could see that these stores have above 8.2 and those are below 8.2 now what if you don't want to hard code the 8.2 what if you wanted to um, parameterize that or bring it from another measure that tells me what is the budget per store in that case you could also uh create that as is a measure and then check with that measure i'll quickly demonstrate that for example i want to highlight any stores that are above average and below average that means i want to be able to calculate quantity per transaction uh, across all cities 
right overall average so we will create a final third measure uh, well second measure in this case that would be quantity per transaction Oops. Um, all cities so this would be what is the Q quantity per transaction across all the cities um, and this is my calculate uh, quantity per transaction and then uh, let me just uh, do it like this uh, where I want to include all uh, store cities all stores basically right so what this would do is it will remove any filtering on the stores so it will create a measure that tells me across board what is the quantity per transaction looking like we could uh, kind of take a quick look at that number uh, I'll minimize this chart so we can see that uh, I can have my uh, same kind of logic stores and then quantity per transaction quantity per transaction um, like this so this chart would have individual store values but uh, um, the the green bar should be 8.23 all the way through right the, the black bar whereas the green one is 8.44 now if we want to compare with that number and then decide whether to highlight or not anything above average in one color below average in another color so to do that what we'll do is we'll create a third measure which is uh, highlight rule you know it's probably a good idea to name these consistently so that when you have multiple charts and multiple tables it can get a bit overwhelming but for demo purpose uh, cities uh, above average right and then this would be it's a simple formula that will tell you if um, if and then we just compare quantity per transaction greater than quantity per transaction across all the cities then it will be one else it will be zero okay so we get that measure and then we can select this chart we will remove the second series or we are only looking at the actual values and then we can go and uh, and create a formatting rule based on on the on the field that we just created highlight rule so the highlight rule will be it will be calculated for each city it will be one or zero so if it is greater than zero and less than one that means it is uh, below average so it will be red color we'll go with some other colors yellow and then if it is greater than or equal to one and less than uh, this is again a dummy value we can put nine or ten or whatever uh, it will always be one so we can go with green and then that would be like this I guess uh, I need to look at that rule I, mean, I don't remember exactly what we wrote there did we write one and zero so yeah so greater than one is in green and then less than one is in zero let me just review this rule here so you could quickly see this um, so what we are doing is if it is greater than zero and then less than one then the yellow color that means it's below average and then one and less than nine is this in fact because in this case the the higher highlight rule is distinctly giving me only zero or one as an option I think using is is a better thing than uh, that so is zero is that and is one is this that will be good right so this is that there is more to this conditional formatting uh, I don't want to get into too much in depth here but uh, you could create a field or a measure that returns the color code RGB values uh, or, or the hex code for individual colors that you want to highlight uh, what color you want to use for highlighting and then if you have such a thing then you can apply the third kind of a rule so if you see in conditional formatting we have color scale we have rules we have field value what field value does is assuming you got a table field or or a, a measure that returns hex codes based on the values uh, you can uh, use the field value to do that right um, for example we will quickly do that as well uh, because we were talking about it so I'll make a um, a copy of this chart uh, I'll paste it here 
and then in this chart I'll get rid of my my conditional formatting revert to default so it'll come back to this and then we will create a a new measure this measure would be highlight rule with color highlight rule with color and then if exactly same logic as before if my quantity per transaction is greater than quantity per transaction all cities then I want the hex code um, this is where you need to know the, know your hex codes for the colors we will use the simple RGB uh, red green blue code so I want uh, FF0000 that means uh, this will be well in fact it is green so it should be um, 00 FF00 right else it would be um, FF0000 okay these colors will be super bright because we are using just the full red color and full green color and then I can go and uh, say my data color for that particular chart should be uh, based on a field which is um, highlight uh, rule with color right that's all there's nothing else to do and then this will give me that uh, translucent green and then that color uh, the advantage of this is you could uh, kind of plug this in with your corporate colors or something uh, for example this tends to be very <laughs> glaring so I'm gonna just uh, tone it down a bit uh, C8 uh, and then 2 2 and then we will do the same thing here uh, C8 to 2 2 2 and then as you change the measure uh, the colors will re kick in and then they'll come back here like this so this is how you can apply conditional formatting on on colors for any kind of a chart not just a column chart you can change this to uh, a line well not technically a line chart but uh, um, some of these other charts we would have to write appropriate rule um, but then eventually it'll work uh, probably by chart two it works um, yeah um, but for lines maybe we will have to do something else there so that's how you can do the conditional formatting for for your visuals in power bi i hope you liked this little video explaining that feature um, and uh, definitely use it but don't overuse it because if you do too many color combinations then it can look a real jarring but when you use it in moderation it can yield some very powerful results thank you so much for watching i'll see you again in another video Bye bye